we are back. We are still in the present. I am Mr. Efosa chatting it up this early morning. So let's go to a more enlightening news. Uh, according to reports, your friend Ateta is keen on Martin Zubimendi. We are hearing more feelers that we are close to agreeing a pre-contract agreement to pay for the release clause. We're just trying to make sure the players camp are actually uh, in, in, yeah, in this, really. on the same wavelength with us and they're going to agree terms with us. And we hear that Barcelona are interested, but it looks like Arsenal are about to beat the competition of, of Barcelona. What, what do you feel about this uh, impending news? My guys will be Mendy. <clears throat> I love it. I love the signing. You know, we don't the know how... the potential signing. <laughs> yeah, potential signing. Yes, exactly. Potential. Hopefully, everything goes to plan. Well, yeah. The, the reason I like it is... <clears throat> Based off of the fact that we know we might lose Jorginho this um, summer, El Nene. Yeah. For, El Nene for sure. Need, yeah. We need to start shoring up with proper quality. We need to start making sure that. Because with this quality we have, if so, someone like him comes in, what we'll get is proper quality. And what do I love about him? I love the fact that I can tackle. One thing I would also love is his orchestration of play from deep. Yeah. He, and he gives some very wonderful passes. Remember what the so, text I said to you yesterday? I said, for me, he's a, he's a, a better version of Jorginho with athleticism. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That is what I... Because you could look at him and say, you could play him on the left side of midfield, he can play DM comfortably. comfortably. I remember when I saw him in the summer. In fact, the way he used to mount the DM position, even Rice was moving forward more than him when I was seeing some of his videos. He just yeah. used to be there. And he, one thing I love is how he kind of dominates space that is his own. You know that that space is, he understands the space he's supposed to go into. He's yeah. physical. I don't, he's, I don't. I won't say he's much of a dribbler compared to um, Yusuf Fofana of Monaco, yeah. but he's very. He compensates because of how quick he moves the ball, and I think that's uh, something. And his technical ability, because when I, when I yes. watched him last season when we were first linked in January, and we we're trying to pay for this close, but he was not in a hurry to leave Spain at that time. I yeah. noticed that the, the way he glides with the ball. Now I won't yeah. go as far as uh, say his Busquets, but it gave me the idea of Busquets, right? He likes course. to play with the ball. He, he, he likes to let me use the word orchestrate the play from deep. Definitely. He's a conductor. See, I'm not trying to dump on Rice because some of you like or like Rice, who, who sometimes can be a little bit blonde. This guy is more technical. You understand yeah. the game. You can see yeah. he pass real quick and deliver it. He has those yeah. penetrative passing, the movement, the gal, the flair. I'm like, I love this. Now, yes, we know Arsenal fans and English fans, they love height. It might not be your six foot, six five lump, but it compensates with technical ability. He might not be as athletic as Rice, but he's not far off, he's not a slouch. But of course, he compensates with, like you say, positioning, understanding space. Yeah. Like yeah. these are the kind of players I love. Because during this, during I think a few weeks ago, when we were I was saying about Onana, I almost had an heart attack. Imagine I was Bro. having Onana and Rice at the base of our midfield. <laughs> are we both in Wanderers? Are you and Thomas Nathan were actually excited? You want <laughs> Onana and Rice? Both in are, exactly. are, are you West Ham? That we talk blonde, you know. Nah, that that'd be athleticism and physicality, but no technical ability. I don't want yes. that. Yes. I don't want that. Like we, 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 those guys are not I'll say rice is more tidy than Onana. Onana sometimes yeah. you see job. Uh, taught the boys. I see the ball is going, is leaving him. Now he may have oh, the, the imagination to recover. Yes, the imagination of the imagination, the imagination of me seeing an Arsenal midfield with Onana and Rice was depressing. I, that's that's bad for football. Course. I'm sorry. Of course, I don't want that. Yeah. No, because that's the truth. When you see someone like Zubi Mendy, you know people want this uh, bidding bidding. Sometimes you, you have to have a, a, the finesse, and we need that. You have finesse. to have it. Yeah. You understand? We are not. You come. They complain that oh, the um, football that we played last season. This guy can come and um, replicate. Re that. And, yes, re yeah. and even take us more because he Next has level. the ability to go 
box to box. When we sure. talk about Jorginho, Jorginho doesn't have the legs again. Legs. You saw those passes. He can give those passes, but the legs to defend. Now, it's this guy there. gives up that. So I'm very happy with this if it goes through. And sure. 24 is a very good age. To, for exactly. Look at it. Exactly. So right age, come to the right time at the right time, about to usher yeah. himself into his prime and, and a club yeah. that wants to go to the next level. Everything yeah. same on paper. To be perfect, for Arteta I'm to loving this. On him. There's something there. There's yeah. something there. Because I'm thinking he has in certain games, in certain games, as not fans and football fans that love beautiful football and results, you have to understand that there'll be games that Rice don't need to play. Especially when we are playing yeah. against low blocks. They're playing against low blocks, this is your man, you not know, right? Of course. Now, if you are playing against Man City or Chelsea, the top traditional top six club, Rice is your man. So it will be a bit of balance and mix. Have yeah. varieties in the midfield. Of course. And even sometimes when people are complaining, they want if you so want to play your rice, he must be there. He must be there to orchestrate things. So sure. I'm I'm happy about it. I'm happy. And for me, I feel if I'm to call anybody, more for yeah. me sometimes Jabi Alonso. You understand? That's how I sure. also look at him also. Okay. So when I saw the, the, the news all over the gaff yesterday that we are actually pressing for, we are most reaching an agreement for a pre a, a, a pre contract pre -contract. so I can get him in the summer. We can't we can't get him this winter. That'll be summer. Yes. I'm happy. Right. I like this. We are sure that we're actually proactive and moving forward. Yeah. Uh it doesn't mean we'll win the league this season, but I don't think we are far off. What is before we we go right. Let's talk about party mm. because suddenly party is now officially going to be training. Do you believe that? I think party has been training for some time. <laughs> of, of course, we know he has been training for some time, and you know uh, now, uh, God blessing him with um, he and his spouse with their first child. So uh, yeah, it's it's a wonderful thing. So I I think I'm expecting on Saturday he will be. He will oh, be that's on Tuesday. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. Again, okay. Not, uh, not time for rest. On Tuesday, he will be ready and pumped up. He will be pumped up. Ready and pumped yeah. up. So, so it's very. What good do you think about the fa the fact that Arsenal fans have high hypocrisy? I have like I don't, I don't, maybe it's a stretch to call them hypocrites, right? But they've been saying, you "No know, rice have come to replace party," which is not far fetched or, uh, on paper, right? If you look at it from that perspective. But yeah. some of them, the way they were rejoicing yesterday, that is officially back in training. Shows that the guys have been missing him <laughs> because yeah. if you're not missing him and you're so contented yeah. with rice performance, mm -hmm. we're not trying to malign rice performances, right? You will mm -hmm. not be that excited, bro. We see, eh, we know the everybody has been saying, Oh, left it, left it, and all that, mm -hmm. right? So, you need another person that can create from deep, you understand? Somebody that has that guy now. Yeah. We've seen that. We can play our ball. We can have our now. That's not to say that um, just uh, what do they call it? Uh, we pattern and everything that it will stop missing chances. But I think sometimes yeah. some quality of chances may improve. Chance. Some Keyword, things quality yes. of chances, Quali quality yeah. of transition will improve. Exactly, because yeah. so what some people look in games that we've lost. Yes, we might have controlled the game more. We might have done that more, but they will look and say, okay, fine. When we had counters, before all these teams that we on now, where people, some people say it is not in a fact where, oh, they are degrading rises. In sense of some counters, if we had a yeah. counter and Pate just beats a man, he releases one ball. So oh. all these teams in low blocks, there are moments they are, what do they call it? They are vulnerable. They're vulnerable. Yeah, so that, that their vulnerability, did we prey on it? So that is the thing. Because I look at it and say, no, we didn't prey on their vulnerability. So when you look at Pate, Pate frees up Saka and other guys like Martinelli Quicker. in different ways. There are moments yeah. where Saka has already made a run, but maybe Declan Rice has not put that ball. I remember from exactly. deep, it's also a key way of our play. So from yeah. the defense, which you have Saliba, Pate, all these guys create Odegaard, Jesus. The core of creation is still existent, existent yeah. amongst these players. So I am happy Pate is back. 
Yeah, the different and people, people will say, not just be they, playing rice every time. I'm telling you, the, the English fans, right? As one of the buy overly biased uh, Arsenal fans, cannot take what I like call the creative and objective criticisms of certain players and say, okay, yeah. they are great here, but they have some flaws. Like, stop it. <laughs> We're not criticizing rice, but well, you're saying in our transition, and we've seen it empirically, is not there yeah. yet, and that's not a slouch on yeah, you just understand. Yeah, me, I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not angry because even Rodri they are calling Rodri went to Man City, he was even holding bench. Initially, Rodri held bench. So when people are complaining about all these things, I don't feel is uh, as you said, they can't take constructive criticism. So it's a good thing. Pate is back. We saw Pate in some key games this season, like the Barcelona yeah. preseason, where the, the uh, Javi thought it was the Champions League final. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's a preamble or a precursor to the Champions League final. You can never tell. Bro, things can happen. You see the way we've been playing. That's yeah. with Pate in our team. The level of control will be different. higher. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. once you we start, because the way Ateta has set us up, the level of control will be higher. We'll, skip, we'll kill th teams off quicker. Quicker. Yeah. So, so people I, have to I understand. Yeah, and my final note, Arsenal fans need to calm down with this Smith Rowe nonsense. You're playing for a top club. Yeah. You can love somebody. Even Man City fans, in as much as they loved some players, those players are not playing every time. Exactly. You understand? We yeah. are this if you want because my problem is they are oh, Smith Rowe must be starting. Smith Rowe must be starting. Smith Rowe has not been That's doing it. Well. Yes, yes. Yeah. You are not going to walk into the team because of what you did before. Because everybody is saying Smith Rowe, Saka did not walk into this team just because of what he did before. He had to be consistently good for him to be there. Yeah. Martinelli also. And so, so. We, have, we have a team where we have many quality players. So your favorite players may not start every game. It's and normal. It's, it's part and parcel of the game. So I don't understand that people who, who understand the sense of the game because of their favorite, somehow they want to let us let us let us talk it in because of my favorite. It doesn't work like that. There is meritocracy. This is on nepotism. Whether yeah. I favorite player or not, as I should confess, I don't understand this culture of having a support for a player over your team. It's it is illogical to me. It doesn't make yeah. no rational sense. You're going to support a player over your team. God bless you. Shout out to you for coming on in this uh on this stream. No I really appreciate, I appreciate you. <laughs> so guys. Make sure you subscribe. Very, very important. We're almost getting there. We are doing much. Shout out to you guys' support and shout out for so for being very consistent with us. Like the video, subscribe here to subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Yeah.